Hi everyone. Um, right, I've got some silk here. It's silk ribbon. And this is what it was like before I added the fabric stiffener. Now, I'm going to show you how I make my leaves. So this is pure silk. I've used the fabric stiffener. You can use PVA glue um, and then let it set and then cut it, you know, any trimmings off it. I'm going to use alcohol ink. Um just to colour it so I'm just gonna it will spread and I'm just using this colour for now down the centre like that let's put a bit more on this one I think it doesn't have to be perfect I don't like anything that's perfect I like a few imperfections because well it helps it uh, makes it look more lifelike I think I've almost done with this alcohol ink a little bit left in it anyway so I've done it like that rougher the ready rougher the better I meant to say and then I've got this one which is this was the um, do you know it's that matte I can't remember what it is don't know can't remember and it doesn't say because it's covered I'm putting the darker one on now on the edge like that and just let that run into each other That's yeah. Don't waste any of it. Well, you won't waste it because we'll be cutting it out. So just fill that in, and I'm going to go back and just see if I can squeeze a little bit more of the lighter shade, if I can. like that <clears throat> uh, and what I can do is just grab a little brush and he'll do and just smooth that in like that Plenty there to play with. But not all leaves are the same colour. Right, so I'm just going to soak that brush, take off uh, the heat gun from its holder. I think I'm due for a new one. Oops, it is it. Turn it off so you can turn that over. <laughs> Not a... But you see, with the silt, you get all rippled in as well once it's been stiffened. Because it's um, a rough silk, I'll show you. That one. So it's already got some leafy shapes in, you know what I mean? So much much easier for you to use well, I'm just gonna take this and wipe down my um, thing of me Bob now I did have some water there we go just to give it a, a bit of a clean
Not that it will. <laughs> and dry it off a bit, that's what I want to do. Right. There we go. Just pop these back down. And I'm going to turn them over and dry the underneath. Just have a look. That is dry. Okay. And then what you do is I just fold them in half and half again. And just, I mean, it depends how big you want your leaves. And then I just cut my leaves like that. And never bothered if it's uh, not pointed at the other end because you don't see them. They're half, mainly under projects. Just discard that bit. And of course, they're still, you know, quite flexible. But we're going to stiffen them up a little bit more. Might cut that first, actually. As they cool down, they will stiffen more because you've already got the fabric stiffener on them. Like I say, you can do any size. You know, you can add different colours like greens and oranges, uh, sorry, browns and oranges as well. Okay, and then what we do is we take one. Look at the colours in that, fabulous. And it looks like a genuine leaf. A real leaf, should I say. Run your hot glue down the middle, like that. Why well, you need a, a nice nib. Do you need a, a fairly a, a fair amount? down the middle and you're doing this on the underneath the bit that's had the uh, you know that's been laid on the bottom of the deck on the top of the deck if that makes sense so this is the underneath of the leaf oops it is it this is the only problem with this glue strands <sighs> Move that there Get off, stupid. I'll show these close up in a minute. You can do the same thing with other materials. It doesn't have to be um, silk, but I do find that the silk is best because it looks more natural, more real, realistic when um, it's dried. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it just so annoys me. It so annoys me. And I know you can melt it. I know all of that. It's not that's not the thing. It's just I wish they'd come up with a glue that you don't have the strands. I mean at this day and age, let's be honest, we should have one somewhere that we can do. Right, we'll go back to this one. See how that's now stiffened that leaf up. Um <clears throat> I'm just taking the ends off. And they do look so realistic. 
That probably needs a little bit of colour just putting in there. Oh no, I don't need to colour it. Just chop it. <laughs> See, I'm not sure if you can... If I put it under something white... Uh, over something white should I say you might be able yeah you can see the colors better <sighs> don't be laughing at me because I'm nearly swearing <laughs> I will show you I'm hoping you can see what I mean See how they, they've got different colours and they look like they're turning from, a, you know, nice and green into autumn colours. You could add a touch of browns to them and, and all sorts. Uh, but they, they are lifelike and because you've put the spine, see down the back, you can see that as well. And that looks brilliant. It's, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how you do them. Um, you can. Yeah. You just singe the end. It's, it's basically heating it up. Like that. Uh, and it puts a little bit of shape to you your leaf just slightly do it that's all and again you've got you know let me just show you on the board a, a little bit of shape to your leaf like that so they look just as good but that's how you do them just start to curl it and then twist one way with your finger twist the other like that it's while it's melting and it's hot you can twist it see when you get that I just thought I'll share that with you because they look just as good that's it thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now